After freshening up back at the hotel, I think all our heads are spinning with the news Chica can officially compete. He's no longer just an observer, but now considered a fellow slinger. So we're just on our way to Ibiza town for the opening ceremony of the event. There's going to be officials there. There's going to be some traditional dancing, I believe. Uh, so it'd be really nice to see Ibiza from a cultural perspective. Uh, as you can see, there's other people on the coach. Uh, they're the other competitors in this event. Uh, I think we're going to another hotel to pick up some other competitors. So it'd be really nice to see them too. And um, yeah, really looking forward to this evening. The whole event is an open celebration of culture, even down to the traditional clothing. <laughs> Tonight, we're heading to the government of Ibiza for the initial gathering and our first glimpse of Ibithincan heritage. The first competition was formed in 2011 by a group including the late Mateu Roca. But since passing, his friend Pep and Club Hassa have transformed the event into a World Cup Championship. Once a politician, Pep now organises some of Ibiza's largest events, including the island's longest running quadathlon. Ooh, looks like it's about to start. This typical Ibithincan dance is called Bolpakes. Moving to the drum and flute of the soñador, the women step speedily but steadily, creating a floating illusion, meekly drifting in circles while keeping the gaze of their eyes away from their male partner. Clapping their wooden castanets, the males energetically hop and raise their legs, seeking their partner's attention. Never should they turn their back to their lady and never should their eyes meet. 